All right, good morning. Waking up, it is already a warm start in the lower 80s here in the metro, and it is going to be a hot day. We'll get into the mid 90s uh, with about a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms, mainly this afternoon, and a few could linger into this evening. But overall, don't expect a washout today. Now, be careful if you're going to be outside because heat index values are going to be quite high, going to be feeling up to about 107 to 108 here in New Orleans. Now, we do have the heat advisory north of the lake and river parishes, bayou parishes could get all the way up to about 110 with that heat index value that also includes South Mississippi. So you can see there heat advisory goes until 7 p.m. and then things should start to be a little bit more manageable later on this evening. Something else we're going to be watching this evening, a cool front and really just a dry uh, air mass moving in, no cooler air with it. But you can see the line there of dry air moving in as we go into tonight. This is by 9, 10 o'clock. There it is moving through the region. It'll move all the way through or at least through the metro and then gets st it stalls out as it gets closer to the coast, of course. But notice by Sunday morning, a lot of dry air, especially on the North Shore, could even have some of that drier air a little bit closer to the coast. It looks like that'll stick around throughout much of Sunday. So that means It'll feel better tomorrow, but it's still going to be hot. So our heat index value of about 108 today. Tomorrow really don't have a heat index value. Still going to be in the lower to mid 90s. And then we start to watch the heat index creep back up as we go into the middle of next week. But our rain chance is dropping tomorrow as well. 0% chance tomorrow, 10% chance for Labor Day. Don't really expect much then. Tuesday and into Wednesday, you notice the rain chance is back up. We'll get that moisture back in here and we'll start to see some of those afternoon showers and uh, thunderstorms. So enjoy the two days of at least drier weather starting tomorrow and Monday out in the tropics. Still very, very busy. Of course, we have what's left of Omar and I tell you what Omar will just not give up. It's still a tropical depression, but it has been going for days now. You still see it's got some storms with it. Area of moisture down in the Caribbean, kind of over uh, Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. It is associated with an upper level low too. moving towards the Gulf of Mexico, not expected to develop, but could bring some unsettled weather to parts of Florida over the next couple of days. And there's our three tropical waves we're watching. And of course, uh, now chances going up. These do develop now invest 91 L is the least impressive. Probably not going to do much over the next five days or so meander out there. Actually going to start to drift back towards the east. What is most likely to develop into Paulette over the next couple of days is invest 92 L. It's heading west. We'll keep an eye on that one and then we've got uh, this tropical wave coming off the coast of Africa has a high chance of development. This would be Renee kind of track tracking right behind uh, what would become Paulette. So the good news with those storms, a lot of models indicate they could come uh, curve out to sea. Of course, things can change and it's all about timing when you're looking at the track of these things. But right now it doesn't look like a big concern for the United States. We'll keep a close eye on them though. So Paulette's next, then we'll get to Renee. We might even have Sally over the next seven days and then we're getting very very close to that Greek alphabet and it's not even mid-September, so quite impressive there. But enjoy the less humid air as we go into your Sunday. It is certainly going to be humid today. There's your better rain chances going into next week.